Good morning, everybody. That's right. It looks like we're starting to see some volume building out there on the roadways as people are getting back to work, back to school on this Tuesday morning. So a couple of accidents have also uh, followed as well. Right now, live pictures, eastbound 60 at Rose, Rosemead Boulevard. Not looking too bad right now, although some building volume on the westbound side of that 60 freeway. Universal Studios traffic report as we take you first to the first accident, westbound 60 at westbound 10. This is right around the downtown Los Angeles area. Solo car still involved in this crash blocking the number five lane. They have not uh, cleaned that up and they are still working this accident on the northbound side of the 215 freeway before University Avenue. Multiple cars involved, also a motorcycle involved and right now reports blocking two lanes. The HOV and the number one lane unknown how long they are going to be able to uh, remove these cars. So expect that closure for a while. Already seeing some slowing well before the 60 freeway, uh, well before the 60 freeway there. All right, that's a look at your Universal Studios traffic report. Let's talk about the weather situation. We'll stay full moon out there. Official full moon tomorrow. Afternoon temperatures will take us up in the mid 70s along the coast, upper 70s inland, low 80s in the valleys. Onshore flow returning overnight tonight into tomorrow will be a little stronger, so you can count on some cooler temperatures during the afternoon. Those strong winds that we into Friday, this is going to be weakening, so the onshore flow will be. Uh, getting a little bit stronger. That's going to allow for some cooler temperatures the next couple of days, but also those strong winds that will be moving in overnight Wednesday into Thursday. So you can expect some strong gusts, 50 to 60 mile per hour wind gusts overnight Wednesday to Thursday afternoon. Here's a look at the forecast for today. Mostly sunny.